Well, good morning, everyone, and it's good to be back with you again for another online assembly. And I'm glad that so many of you enjoyed meeting my cat, Mercy, last week. And so let's begin with our usual greeting. The Lord be with you. Thank you. And now today we're going to be thinking about something called free will. But before we do, we're going to have our song. And this week, it's a new version of Hallelujah, 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 Praise Ye the Lord, which, of course, many of you will know. And if you watch this video carefully, you may see some more cats. So I hope you'll enjoy it. Hallelujah, 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 praise ye the Lord. Hallelujah, 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 praise ye the Lord. Praise ye the Lord, hallelujah, praise ye the Lord, hallelujah, praise ye the Lord, hallelujah, praise ye the Lord. Praise, what's that? It's a Did you enjoy that? And did you like the cats as well? Excellent. Now today's story time is presented by Douglas the Puppet, who I know you've met before. Listen carefully to what he says, and then we'll think together about free will afterwards. So, here's Douglas. Boop. Boop. Hello, it's me, Robot Douglas. Boop. Hey guys, it's me again, 
Douglas. And no, I'm not actually a robot. That was just pretend. But I think robots are really, really cool. Have you ever seen those robots that build cars? They're so cool. They like wiggle around all over the place and they're like zoo, 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 building the cars. And I, I've always thought they were so cool. And you know, if I'm watching a movie and there are robots in that movie, most of the time one of the robots ends up being my favorite character. But I'm super glad that I am not a robot. And I'm also glad that you are not a robot. Because see, like, you know, those robots that build cars, they do that really, really well. But that's all they know how to do. And you could teach that robot to do something else. You know, it could build cars or it could build toaster ovens or whatever, or even other robots. But if you went up to that robot and you said, hey, do you want to be my friend? It wouldn't say anything. Unless you made a program where if you said, hey, do you want to be my friend to that robot? It would say, yes, I want to be your friend. But even then, it's not really your friend. It's just doing the thing that you made it do, right? Robots can only do what we tell them to do. But see, God made people to be different from robots because God gave people what's called free will. God has given you a choice to do what is right or to do what is wrong, to make your own decisions. You know, when he made Adam and Eve, the very first people, he put them in this big, beautiful garden and, and there was all the food that they could ever need. But he also put a choice in that garden. You see, God told them that they could eat the fruit from all the trees in the whole garden except for one tree. They couldn't eat the fruit from just one tree. And God did that so that they would have a choice. They could choose to live the way God wanted them to live, or they could choose to live their own way. And because they had that choice, they could have a real relationship with God in a way that a robot never could, because God gave them free will. Now, we know that this story ended kind of badly because they did choose to sin. And because of that, sin entered the world. And you and I have a choice to make every single day, many choices really, to do what is right or to do what is wrong. But it's because of that choice that we can really choose to do what's right. We can really choose to have a relationship with God our Father. And now free will can get a little bit a little bit confusing because, well, God knows everything. And some people say that if God knows everything, then do we really have free will? Do we really actually have a choice? You know, if God made that tree in the garden that Adam and Eve weren't supposed to eat from, but he knew that they were going to eat from it anyways, was it really their choice to eat from it? Or was it God's choice, you know, because he knew what was going to happen? Is it really free will if God knows everything? And I, I tend to think, yeah, it's still free will because here's what I know for sure. I know for sure that you and I can choose to do what's right, or we can choose to do what's wrong. And we are responsible for our decisions, for our choices. There are consequences for doing what is right or doing what is wrong. So yeah, I think God gave us free will. God gave us the choice to love him. And so that's my challenge to you guys today is that you would make the decision every single day to choose to do what is right to follow God and to have a deep relationship with him. Because you are not a robot. You are a child of God. So that was Douglas, and he's a puppet. Now puppets are great, aren't they? Because you can make them do what you want them to do. Puppets can only do things because we are making them do those things. They can't do them on their own, can they? So let me ask you a question and I'd like you then to stop the video and talk with perhaps a family member or a teacher for a few minutes. And what I'd like you to think about and talk about is what might be fun about being a puppet and what might be not so nice about being a puppet. So that's what, what you think might be fun about being a puppet and what you think might be not so good about being a puppet. And then you can decide if you would like to be a puppet or not. So pause the video now. OK, well, welcome back and I hope you had a good discussion. Now, as Christians, we believe that God made the world and made people. And when God made people, he had a choice. He could have made, pe made people a bit like Douglas the puppet, not able to think or act on their own. He could have made puppet people who did whatever he wanted, and then nothing bad would ever have happened in the world. But people would have been just like God's slaves. But instead, God chose not to make people like Douglas the Puppet. He gave us 
what's called free will. That is, he gave us the ability to make choices ourselves. And much of what's gone wrong with the world is a result of people making bad choices. People can choose to hate each other. People can choose to be cruel or selfish. They can choose only to think about themselves. And these sorts of choices make the world a hard place to live in. But, of course, people can also make good choices. Choices such as being kind, looking after others, trying to be fair and treating other people as you would like them to treat you. And choices like these make the world a better place. Because you see, every single day we face loads of choices. Choices about what to say, how to act. Choices about who to spend time with or how hard to work. So what I'd like you to do now is I'd like you to spend just a few moments sitting quietly and thinking about what those choices might be that you may be making today. Well, I'm now going to say a short prayer after which we'll say the Lord's Prayer together. So let's pray. Dear Lord, thank you that we are people not puppets. Thank you that we can make choices in our lives. Help us to choose wisely and to make the world a better place. Amen. The Lord's Prayer Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Well, thank you for joining me today and I hope you enjoyed today's assembly and that you're looking forward to being back in school next week. And I'll see you again soon. Bye. Hallelujah, hallelujah.